So I use an embarrassing amount of key economic concepts in my daily life. I feel like I'm always thinking like an economist these days, but something that I take with me in my daily life is this idea of opportunity cost, or, you know, kind of the path not traveled. I think about it anytime I pretty much make a decision, you know, anytime I read this book and not that, book a holiday here and not there, subscribe to this streaming platform and not that streaming platform. I'm always kind of thinking about, you know, the value of the choice foregone, which is kind of like economist FOMO, I guess. I think there's a lot of concepts from behavioural economics, which I find myself going back to a lot. So behavioural economics is basically the intersection of economics and psychology and talks a lot about why human decision making isn't always as structured or logical as economics would predict it to be. So I think a lot of the concepts there help me to understand my own decision making and where it might fall flat or where I could improve it. So one of the important economic concepts that I use in my day-to-day -day life is thinking on the margin. So this is the idea that you need to compare marginal benefits to marginal costs of a certain activity, not just whether you do an activity or not. So one of the classic textbook examples of this is studying for exams. So instead of thinking about, do I need to study for the exam or not, you should be thinking about how many hours I need to study and whether each incremental hour is more beneficial than something else you could be doing with your time, such as hanging with your friends. Another thing I think about a lot is the idea of sunk costs. So this is the idea that if you've incurred a cost and you can't recover it, you should ignore it in your future decision making. So an example might be if you've signed up for a course, paid for it up front and halfway through you're realising that you're hating it. The fact that you've paid for the whole course shouldn't influence your decision about whether to keep going or not. So that's the kind of economic ideas that I find you know, myself thinking about when I'm struggling with a problem or thinking through something that help me to think about it in a different way. It's quite amazing how many how many things in the world you know, work in a way that relates to economics. The economy is an obvious one. You think about econo economic concepts and um, that understanding helps you understand the news better, uh, helps you understand people's problems better. And so there's a, there's a, there's a real social aspect, aspect of it as well. It helps you understand where uh, people might be struggling with things. Um, and where people might be rewarded for things uh, that they've done. And so that's, that's been really valuable, I think.